Even though they're shallow, where they had the fireplace, yeah. that mound is still, still in there. Still there, right. Quite often even the stone where there was yeah. a door. Well, and actually, I should probably bring a metal detector because maybe I'll we find something. Yeah, I know where there is one. The, the, town, the town doesn't own one, though. Um, yeah. if, where this uh, front door is, I've actually, you know, back when we were first starting to go down that road and yeah. and look at everything, the um, sill door or whatever the hell you want to call it there, it's yeah. the stone that... Yeah, the stone, yeah. Is right, it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, it's still the flat. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, yeah, it's smack dab right there. Right where that door was back yeah. then, huh? Yep. So, I mean, you know, the picture, I mean, the stone proves it, the picture, because I mean, they always use... Right. Yeah, that's a pretty good reference, too. Yeah. So, so in the ways multi tongues. So it has a little bit of handwriting back on. Stephen Johnson. That's what keep you awake at night, too. Yeah, but you sleep at night. I wish I had someone to translate to typed print because this drive was driving me nuts. I'm trying to. This was used in a court case, apparently, yeah. all of this. This has been reviewed previously. Where he laid it all out. Yeah. Kind of a historical timeline. Kind of the question is, I don't know, is there anything else in the uh, the deeds that would show? States. Is there a common cart road at all times for the use of those owning land beyond these premises? All these ones have three basic descriptions which have to be retra retraced. Description of location of the dominant estate, servants, estate, and even itself. And Alfred Colby signed in 1873. I also grant to set off a copy of the right for I was across my premises in any manner and at times using the old cart road. So that's got to be one of those deeds. And again, it's referred to as a cart road. Yeah. This deed conveyed 40 acres of land off the copy, which was landlocked as can see. He has the figures on this, the, you know, the, the, the pictures. You know, I actually, when you go through that, mm -hmm. you can't find out. I, mean, I, I know you can look at a definition of a cot road mm -hmm. where one can pass the other, mm -hmm. but in some instances, the cot road may have been one, one cart wide, exactly. and that's the confusion because it doesn't really tell you in there. It just gives them the right, right to access right. that, and it may have been that mm -hmm. they use a cot to walk mm -hmm. to their land, and you could use the mm -hmm. same path to get to your land. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't dimension it. So there's no, no right. dimensions, you know. Right. 
I mean, it doesn't say where it is, really. It's whatever you want for a car. It goes on that path, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So, the yeah, set part doesn't give you any dimensions or anything. Right. Um, I think that's part of the issue, too. Someone's not going to be happy, so. Right. Let a judge make that happen, not us. <laughs> well, I don't think we can make it. No. From everything I, you know, that we've been told and well, that we it, know about this. The Supreme Court already told us we can't. Right. Yeah, so. I don't know me. Yeah, because he did all the, the legwork on research, but I mean, I don't, so I don't see anything in there where it really gives any dimensions in the, the description. No. No. If you go through all of those, it's the same way. They only refer to it as a car path. They don't give you a width of the road. Yeah, it's not defined um, what that you know, is. So one person can take a bridled horse past someone coming the other way. There's none of that in there. That sucks. And I know there's a cart path in Godstown that we're familiar with, mm -hmm. that was only the width of its back. It was an old horse and buggy path that yep. the old fashioned tractors mm -hmm. still fit in that yep. road. And that was the path that they used mm -hmm. to all the landowners that went beyond what they call the barway yep. on that cart path. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that's this part I'm struggling with is, yes. you know, I've never seen, uh, if they had a dimension, you could live with that, mm -hmm. but I can't, you know, it's kind of hard to force them to give up some of their land right. to, unless they had to, you know, mm -hmm. unless it was required, but I don't see anything yet, so. I don't know. Um, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so mm -hmm. bring that <coughs> for all the zone board stuff. But actually, that's all sitting in the, in the office, so. There's just emails here. Making uh, sending tax card. Back in the day, it was crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nowadays, kids can't even write. 1898. Victor Jean Wheeler. Go school, your daughter. Braven errors point out an omission from the tax rolls added in 1970. Cool. Time actually owned that lane at one time. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think we should have hung on to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time there were no houses on that road. The permits. Uh, yeah, there was a but I mean, you know, as you go up the road now, there's mm -hmm. a few places. Uh,
Okay, sir, Homestead Front Street, Miller, together with the building, the stair on it being a part of the homestead of the Lake Timothy Johnson. Thing is, steak and stone from East Shore, Clark, 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 Line. Hence, East Early on said, Goss Line to land now, both only owned by C.B. Littlefield, to a stake and stone. It's more related to place of Littlefield land to the highway leading from East Lumberton to Manchester. And smartly by said highway to land. Now we're formerly owned by Nathaniel J. Colby, then it's west of the southerly, then westerly on a line of the stone wall, and the land of said Colby to land formerly owned by Alfred Colby, then southerly by said Alfred Colby land to the town first mentioned, containing 75 acres more or less. We're going to come on Cart Road. Preserving a common cart road at all times for the use of those owning land beyond these premises. Meaning and intending to convey land deeded to Alina Baranis by Victoria Boudreaux, recorded 505-123. Known as Kelsey Place and part of the homestead of Timothy Johnson. For other part of Timothy Johnson homestead, see Town of Dunbarton from Joseph Bernardus, volume 582-349. That was July of 1941. Not just a sketch. Started building in 1941 and wasn't finished. 1941? Yeah, that's it. Because the house burnt in what? 19 what? 29? What? 25. So that was that house. Well, this property had many owners. In 1921, it was owned by Edgar Kelsey. Timothy Johnson's house burned in 1925 when owned by William Cascolas. Yes. And it's presently owned by Mike Guiney now. That's when they turned the house when they so there was so basically when the house burned in twenty five and it didn't there was nobody there until forty one. Yep. Then they built the house. So that's a whole period of time where there was no reason for anyone to be out there. No. And it's on the side of the town plow down there in forty five and and then I mean, there wouldn't be any reason. Nobody lived in there. This area here we're not on this, you know, would make sense for the cart road only because it says, you know, beyond Right. Yeah, you know, because Well you'd believe that back in the day, I mean there were stone yeah. walls there, so you know that those were open fields. Yeah. You know, today it's all grown in, but mm -hmm. you know, somebody was growing something back there. Tax maps? Or tax cards. Tax cards. Yeah. No. That's, the rest of these are just current ones, so. This packet kind of goes together. This we've already seen. That's ours. I'm not exactly sure where it is. seen the emails, right? Yeah. So we don't have to go over those. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Email, email. Who is the application?
this is right here on the uh, zoning board of adjustment application. To allow the applicant to build a, and this is in his own writing, build on a pre-existing 1970 lot in the town of Dunbarton without frontage on a class 5 road with an easement and a right of way. So no claim to a road then. Oh, that's in his own writing. Yeah. It's right there on the, I've got a copy of the uh, tax card here. Same one as you see it? Yep. Here's the uh, volume 582 from David Hadley, collector of tax of the town of Dunbarton, the County of Aramac, State of New Hampshire, year 1936, by author, authority invested by law, State of New Hampshire, consideration of $1, paid to me by the town of Dunbarton, do hereby sell and convey the said town of Dunbarton and its successors, heirs, and assigns a certain tract of parcel of land situated in the town of Dunbarton. Therefore, said tax by the selectmen and assessors in 1936 to Helen Bernatus. And described in the invoice books as 75 acres Kelsey Place. A more particular description of said property is understood to be as follows. A certain homestead farm situated in Dunbar and together with the buildings thereon and being a part of the homestead of the late Timothy Johnson bounded and described as follows to wit beginning at the stake and stones on the east shore of Black Brook so called the Gosstown Line fence east to live on said Gosstown Line blah blah I've heard that whole thing. Yep. Uh, all right, and then it says here, owned by Alpha Coley, then southerly by Alpha Coley's land to the bottom first mention, containing 75 acres more or less. Next paragraph, reserving a common car road at all times for the use of those owning land beyond these premises, meaning and intending to convey land deeded to Alina Bernardus by Victoria Boudreau, Boudreau record Merrimack County Record, volume 505, page 123. So the car road is for property that is, and that's, Back there, so. I'm not convinced that it was ever a road. Mm -hmm. Of course, the other issue was the turn around in front of the barn. Yeah. You know. Well, it's the one place you can turn around because that's. Well, you don't have a choice. So. You don't have a choice. So. Yeah. All right. I apologize. Yeah. That was not my fault. No, I apologize. I was trying to get it on airplane. There we go. Want to read that no, I no. watched you read it, but you know, and I'm wondering where Armin Odette, mm -hmm. Sai's father, yeah. his truck's bigger than the town truck is. Um, it yeah. was back then. Yeah. You know, so he would have turned a lot. Well, sooner. actually, I looked into that. Yeah. Simon Odette's father, Armin, was not the road agent until like 1967, 68. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, that's in the town. It right? was. It's in the yes, town. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, the road agent was, um, was it one of the, no, it wasn't the mills, where the hell was it? I don't know if I didn't, add, didn't start to think about it, I probably would have it right off. But it, uh, yeah, from the 40s on up it was uh, one person, and it, was, it might have been a mills, actually. But Simon's father didn't take, him, take over the job until 67, 68. So, Far as saying that he, you know, when he was road agent plowing that road back in the 40s, yeah. that's a crock of crap. Right. Um, you know, do your research. I don't like being fed a, a load of crap. But even back then, even going back to the 60s, he would have turned a lot, you know, this side of the house mm -hmm. versus going to, because where would he turn his truck around? Unless it was a, it wasn't fields back then, not that part of it. You'd have to, I mean, mean pine forest there. Well, I mean, what, when was that public what year? In the 60s. In the 60s. 60s yeah. So that, that road, was all grown up then? Because that road well, comes down like pine this. trees in that section. Yeah. You know? They'd be a lot smaller than that then. Yeah, they would be smaller. But I mean, here, here's the house, and the barn is over here. Barn house. So 
it's not the scale, obviously. Right. Here's the turnaround area. Right. Because this section right here is a drop off. Right. right. Pretty steep. Yeah. I mean, there's no. So I mean, unless you turn over here, you, you can only turn there because it's yeah. nothing but it's a cliff. I mean, we're looking at 30 feet mm -hmm. down. Yeah, that that's a pretty, pretty, pretty steep grade on that side. <laughs> I know, and I'm falling off a cliff 35 feet. Yeah. So I know how long it is. It sucks. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you'd have a hard time turning around there. You could the only place you can go is in front of that barn. That explains a lot. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> May 3rd, 1986. Forget the pipe thing. This, the falling off the cliff is... Yes. It's a long story. Uh, but, I mean, this is just a... My gut feeling, it was just a matter of convenience to turn around here because there's no yeah. other place. Well, I think right. you're right, because there was no more mm -hmm. other place other than... Mm -hmm. Uh, if that road, you know, the Kelsey Road really did mm -hmm. take that left and mm -hmm. head off, I mean, that might have right. been the other Yeah, because I mean, this comes right, what they're talking about is this. Yeah. And, you know, it very well, because when you read the, the um, town record, I have it right here. Of course, today there's a telephone pole there, but that wasn't yeah. there back then. No. There was probably no electricity back at that yeah, that's a good question. I used to know that. Because in this picture, you yeah, saw it. How bold it And if there were power, you would assume that it would be coming in from this corner of the house, yeah. right? Exactly. Not back here. It would be mm -hmm. So in the twenties, there was still no, there's no. But power I don't there. see anything there, even to the barn. They probably didn't have power back then. No, I wouldn't think so. It doesn't look like it. All right. Yeah. That's recorded in the town records of Dumbarton from 1800 to 1824, Volume Two, Page 511. Dumbarton, May 29th, 1921. We, the subscribers, selectmen for the town of Dumbarton, have this day laid out a highway three rods wide from Gosstown Line nearly north to Timothy Johnson's house, and from thence nearly northeast, nearly on a straight line to the county road. Said road is to be a bridle road from said county road to Mr. Johnson's house for three years from Mr. Johnson's house to the Gosstown Line. Said road is to be a bridle road for the term of six years. Timothy Johnson is to have the rangeway on the west end of his lot in compensation for said road. John Mills, John Stinson, Selectman. Recorded May 29, 1921 by James Allison T. Clerk. So they Tom traded Clark. land. Yep, and when this tour test. They yeah. traded land for it. Right. So, there's a good chance it could be a paper road. I mean, they yeah. laid it up. doesn't mean they actually ever opened it up and... Right, never really did right. anything with it. Exactly. I mean, the other road was probably already there because they had to get to the Johnson's house. But, so I mean, the remainder of it from Gosstown Town Line could be a paper road. Yeah. Just no one's ever, they never opened it up. So that's why there may not be a whole lot of quote unquote, ev you know, huge evidence. Yeah. So I mean, it could, you know, it could go that way. Don't know. Because that's the front of the house was right there. Now this picture here of this house, mm -hmm. this one here, yeah. if this is 1829 on Montalona, yes, that does look like a power line on yeah. Montalona. Mm -hmm. Well that was before 18, that was 1821, right? 1820, well, 23 to 26. Well, you know it wasn't 1825 because the house burned down. Right. So it's before 1825. Yeah. <clears throat> Just because it went down Montalona doesn't mean it's going to be... No, I know that, that's what well, I'm just saying. Actually, you could, See that there's what appears to be a power line there. Well, was that a picture in 1829? I don't know. That looks almost like the Darrow's house back in the day when. Yeah, it looks a little. Well, when I was a kid. Well, that front porch really doesn't look like an old style front porch, no. does it? So that may be a more recent photo. Right. Yeah, yeah. Harlan always took it. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, I see that. Oh, th you think that's what that is? Yeah, that's what they get credit for. Uh, oh, well, this one came out of the right. collection. Yeah. Got it. Right, okay. Excellent.
This one of Dave Meltz maps. Is it one of those? What's this reference down here? 61206 amplification. Well, what's this? Oh, it's stamped, right? It's no. Hard to tell. It's got. Uh, And we don't have any maps that show evidence of those foundations that we've been told exist, right? No. I looked at all of them. In fact, I brought some back. I think she's still got a ton in her office, huh? When you read the court case, the judge chastised them both. Mm -hmm. And said there would have been a different way to resolve this, you know. Right. So, and send them off with that. So I don't know, you know, what his intent was. Don't know. That's a good question. Right. This is here. It is right. One of them where you can read his the judge's conclusion. <clears throat> That's right here, easement by prescription. This is the um, notice of decision from Michael Lenny versus David Nolt, Joshua and Lou Nolt, and Sugar River Savings Bank docket in order. Petition has brought a petition to apply it to all. Steve will probably also serve the upper field on the horse pouch. It was acquired in that probably as a result of the claim. And Pam Foley and Henry Johnson must have agreed to show the family will choose the driveway and merely forgot to include the easement in the deed. The evidence does not support this view. First, it's unlikely that Henry Johnson would convey property which included the present lot 7 with a specific deed easement the day after he transferred ownership of lots 8 and 9 to Nathaniel Foley without an explicit easement. The explanation of his different intentions is obvious at the time of the conveyance. Nathaniel was it was at the end of Foley Road near 1200 and Lot 8 by the horse pasture. Traveling over Foley Road to Monolore Road, then up to Kelsey Road, and across Henry Johnson's line to reach the upper field along the horse pasture. It makes no sense. The Nault's expert, Mr. Dalworth, points out that the number of artifacts and geographical features make this longer, this longer route more likely. First, Claims that there is no historical or physical evidence to access, to access these lots by Nathaniel from the far north. However, this ignores that the stone wall forming the northerly boundaries of lots 8 and 9 has at least one original barway and two. The claim that Nathaniel Colby has an easement by implication for lots 8 and 9 with Henry Johnson is unsupported by the fact. Facts that Ann is denied. Easement by necessity and all. It's also Advance the claim that the lots 8 and 9 are benefited by an easement of necessity or guidance property easements. By necessity arise from the implied intent of the parties. Necessity alone is insufficient to create an easement. Rather, the surrounding circumstances must be examined to determine whether they will support the conclusion that the parties intend to create an easement. Therefore, issues before the trial court were whether the circumstances surrounding the division of the farm and the sale of the two bus demonstrated 
a reasonable necessity to cross the defense land existed in 1873, and whether the circumstances indicated that parties Henry Johnson and Daniel Colby to those transactions intended that the purchaser of lots eight and nine would have an easement over Henry Johnson's land. She cites a court case in 1981. For the reasons set forth in the preceding section on an easement by implication, that Henry Johnson and Daniel Colby did not have the intention to include a right of way over Johnson's property in their deed, nor was there a necessity for one. Easement by prescription. Finally, I'll just contend that the evidence establishes an easement by a prescription of Johnny's land to establish a prescriptive easement. The plaintiff must prove by a balance of probabilities 20 years adverse, continuous, uninterrupted use of the land claimed in such a manner as to give notice to the record owner that an adverse claim was being made to it. Opinion of the Justice Public Use of Coastal Beaches, back to 1994. Dave Mount claims that the cart path has been utilized for over 20 years. He claims that his grandfather and he used the driveway to access lots 8 to remove timber and firewood to clear brush and to hunt. This allegation is unsupported by the evidence. So, well, it's not like that argument <coughs> that he's presenting still mm. has been argued before and denied. Correct. Okay, we're wasting our time. Could maneuver an alternative along the roots for the road. Plus, we're rolling five cranks with one, this would be four. Nine, five for 11, 50 seconds. Neither the cranks nor the nine, 22, and 23 no evidence are not relevant. Melville, all the nulls request the conclusions of law are denied except for six, which is neither granted nor denied. April 23rd, 2008, Robert Morrow. So this must be it here, because there's all kinds of, there's one. So this must go with that, because it's all together. So this should be pretty interesting. Yeah, that right there is already been argued. In his writings, he just uh, mm -hmm. you know he didn't find in Dave Knoll's uh, mm -hmm. defense, but at the same time, he did chastise Mike Guiney or something. I don't know sure. what it was, but uh, I think it, it, he said there was a different way that that could have been handled, and we can only speculate what that different way is. But, right. Yep. Well, they could have handled it between themselves instead of taking it to court. I think is really where it's going. Yeah, well, but you know what it turned, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but it turned into a, you know, Hatfield McCoy situation. And no, it was it was yeah. That's unfortunate. But that little, that document there, that's pretty, pretty compelling. Right? You know, it's the Hill of Slayer stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff. Do you guys want to look yeah, at that? Yeah, that's fine. No, I went through it all. Some of those that we engage in. That's all. 71, yeah, that's all Gildersleeve. And I don't think you're going to find anything in the new documentation that's going to you know, sway it one way or the other. If it hasn't, wasn't in the deeds or the old maps. Because it, it would have had a different outcome mm -hmm. in that judge's ruling. Some other I remember Bellow was his grandfather, but he only owned that yeah. part. He didn't own all the rest of this. So he only owned that part. Who's his grandfather? Uh, Dave's grandfather's Iron Bellow. Oh, yeah? yeah. Huh. I know him. Yeah. His mother was Lorraine. Mm -hmm. So did he have, um, did this easement, cot path easement, benefit him back in the day? I don't know. Yeah, that was a different, pro that's a different uh, piece of property. 
E on this one up here. Yeah. Yeah. It was back in the day, it was plot 352. It was yeah. B618. So he would have used in the card path. He had some other axis. I don't know. Well, I know this is one thing the judge says about, you know, um, that by prescription it says, you know, 20 years of use by the public. Right. Yeah, continuous use by the public. Yeah, there wasn't any, he couldn't prove His grandpa and him going in and out to hunt and or move logs is not the public. Right, and I wouldn't call that continued use. No. There, that's occasional use in my mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah. Regular use is using it maybe once a week. Or daily. Yeah, or daily. Well, I was doing the benefit of the job there a little bit. That's all great on the oversleeve yeah. stuff. Yeah, we're going to need a whole file count just for the maps alone. <laughs> Digitize it. You can do that. Yeah. We've yeah. already got that. That's I think it's already probably a loose type. Plots. Uh, these are all the new stuff. Dredge and fill permits. Keeping you up past your bedtime? No, I've been staying up late night, sorry. Um, Lack of oxygen here. Yeah, the window open. That's all the ZBA stuff. Well, I have to do that. Yeah, covered with that one piece there. Yeah, for us. Yeah. You already read it, so. Yep. But that's a nice piece of information. I think that's. Yes. Pretty valuable right there. And actually, to be able to overcome that in the tracing the deeds. Right. You got to have something that's irrefutable. So right. That's, that's, that'll that's be what I'm looking out. for. Right. Is is there any wiggle room or? Because yeah. the other maps that I brought in that Lean gave me, he's got <coughs> written on it mm -hmm. yeah. for different things. And, uh, it's kind of hard because it looked like with some of the surveyors, it seems like the road might have gotten extended. Well, that, could, that so, can happen. And, mm -hmm. you know, we saw it that one night when we were digging through the maps. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw an inconsistency from one to another. So, yeah. you know. That's what happens, you know, if, if the next survey grabs the previous survey's map and there's an error, and he's just working from that, then you're right, the road suddenly is different. Well, it's like the Blister you know, Rust map. The Blister Rust maps here had the road kind of like penciled in, like yep. the paper road, it wasn't yep. a solid line. And then you see a USGS map, and it would yep. have it come down here and stop. Yeah. Hmm. Which map is correct? Right. Well, an USGS map, I wouldn't take that as being one that's so giving bad. you... A what? Bad. Oh. Put them on. Giving you the you know uh, the features of a road mm -hmm. more more or less the contours well, of the land. Yeah, they're top of those. You know. Yeah, they're, that's what I mean. They're yeah. contour maps. You know, so they're going to show you what the elevations are and that kind yeah. of thing, but not necessarily mm -hmm. you know a road. Right. It's not what they're intended for. No. God no. I know when the when it's the military do a map reading. They give you a topo map here out there in the middle of the bucket brush and everything like that. Oh hey, there should be a road right there. You get to that point. Guess what? It's not there. Yeah. No road. Or you get there and you get someplace and it's like, it's right here. It's not on the map. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do the triangulation. It's like, yeah, I'm in the right spot, but, you know. Like, yeah. Because you know, they're not 100% they're not accurate. No, no. They're, they're geographical maps. Mm -hmm. yeah, not a survey of the map. Yeah. Cool. Well, gentlemen, I don't know what else we can go through here um, besides give it all to the town attorney and let him. Yeah, I think that's. That, that may be the best route, you know. Sort yeah. through and see if he sort sees Sort through and see if he sees something different. Or God, I hate to pay that bill. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have a choice. I guess that's what happens when things keep getting put off till all of a sudden mm -hmm. they come to a head. Yep. And you've got to address all these concerns in the same year. Yep. Yeah. And I just said, everybody's patients have run out because yeah. you've been pushing it back, you know, there's been getting pushed back and they, instead of going a little ways, they go to the full extent. Well, I think it's everybody, including the two residents mm -hmm. that are involved, mm -hmm. you know, either one wants mm -hmm. a decision one way or the other so they know, mm -hmm. you know, what they're looking at oh, without yeah. having to battle each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's why they put the town in there with 
this point right. while they're trying yeah. to. It was more a soul matter yeah. than it is a. Oh tree. right, exactly. All um, right. So are we in agreement to ship it off to the town attorney and let him yeah paw through it. I, 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 I think well, what you're looking at and what we're presented with mm -hmm. is uh, it's going to take somebody to make uh, some. Mm -hmm. Either recommendations or make some decisions. But I'm not even sure with you know with that court ruling that was already done. Mm -hmm. A lot of this information has already been sifted through. I, mean, I don't know what the courts are going to do. They're going to sift through it again, well, or will they take what that way, judge decided? Mm -hmm. If the attorney looks at that piece, I don't mm -hmm. think to him that's conclusive. Well, they were talking about easements and cart roads in that court case, not necessarily yeah. Kelsey Road. Now we're looking at the next bigger piece yeah. to it, Kelsey Road. What's the status of that? So what is Kelsey Road? Yeah, what is Kelsey Road, basically? If they can answer that question, and we know when it gets defined, whether by us, by someone else, or a court, or whatever the case would be, if it finally gets defined, then they'll know. What's the road, what's right. the car path, what's the easement? Yeah, and if the bottom line is the, the road <coughs> goes off to the left, and where that peg is is, mm -hmm. you know, the beginning of the right. car path, and to be honest, I'll go yeah. out with Dave mm -hmm. Saturday, and yep. they may reach out to my guy mm -hmm. here afterwards yep. and have him give me his yeah, spiel his side, so yeah. I get both sides. Yeah, because we've been there. Yeah, we've, gone and done yeah. we've been there with both of them. Yeah, so the it. trouble with both of them being there at the same time. Oh, yeah, you don't want them at the same time. You know, is that... If you're going to do yeah, that, bring, one, both, bring both the chief. <laughs> we, had, we had the police officers here. Right? We were there. Well, so, nothing so, happened, but we just, right. it was just to be on the safe side. both people want you to take their position. Well, it's highly... It's emotionally charged. You know, they exactly. have their emotions. And they it, start so. arguing with each other, and, right. you know, and you just don't want it that Yeah, friction. you don't want it to escalate. Yeah. It's exactly. ugly enough without it getting uglier. Yeah. So, so, yeah, if you think you're going to do that, you might want an escort. If you're going to have both at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, so ship this off to a town attorney if yeah. he doesn't already have, and yeah. let him review it, and then we'll get together with him and then get him come up to and you know, make a decision like we said we would. Yeah. That sound like a plan? Yes. I mean, it's about the only direction we can go in yeah. right now. You may not like the de decision, whatever we come well, to. none of us are going to yeah. yeah. like it, so. But it is what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's what we get. It's responsibility for, so. Yep. Alrighty. Well then. Okay. And, you know, unfortunately, you didn't get elected to be liked. Nope. Those who were your friends before are usually your enemies after, and then the ones that are your enemies are usually your friends before you're done. <laughs> My philosophy is you leave your friends on the outside of yep. that door. Mm -hmm. And you come in, everybody's the same. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're here to do the best for the town as a whole, not for people, right. individuals. So, and if people can see that, then we're doing our job. What a mess. Mm -hmm. what a mess, what a mess, what a mess. So I guess we'll entertain a motion to adjourn if we have nothing else. I'm good. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? A uh, second. Any discussion? No. There's no discussion. <laughs> no, there's no discussion. Let's uh, go yeah. on. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Anytime you have this